and we shall start with the coding so for that I'm going to use Android Studio I'm going to just quickly open it I'll create a new project empty activity and then you can give a name to your app I'll just say my Firebase app and if you want you can change the package name as well all right the app is loaded and the first activity is the main activity so we will start with the main activity and we will begin with the layout of the activity I'm just going to change the layout to relative layout which is easier to work with and we will surround the relative layout by scroll view so that our activity is scrollable and while defining any layout we need to define the layout width and layout height then I'll just give some margin and padding Then getting inside the relative layout, I'll just create an image view to show the icon. I'm just doing this to create the app similar to the one that I have showed you already. But you don't have to do everything that I'm doing. You can go with your design. So I'll just give it an ID so that I can place the rest of the components below it. And I'll just give some margin on the top. Alright. And let's have the source. Add drawable. Then let's say IC underscore logo because we are going to keep all the logo or the pictures that we are going to use in the app in the drawable folder if you don't have any such icons or logos I'll just keep them with the rest of my codes so that you can download it and you can use the same which I am using and let's specify one maximum width 180 dp all right let's make it in the center horizontally then we'll define one text view below it And we'll say the ID as the text view underscore main underscore head. Let's define some margin on the top. Text alignment as center. And we want it to be below the logo file. And then we can use text appearance property from where we can choose some of the predefined font styles. All right. Then below it, we'll just define one button that is the login button. So let's have the ID very simple button underscore login.
and let's have some margin on the top there are two ways to define the width of the button either you can directly define the width in the layout underscore width or the second way is to define margin left and the margin right i'll show you both of the ways right now so i'll just quickly complete the layout then copy it and paste it below so that we can create the register button i'm just doing it so that we can quickly complete the app and then we can go ahead beautify the app to make it look like the one that I have showed you in the beginning but as of now my main priority is to complete the app so I'll just define the register button then quickly move to the java main activity dot java or the main activity class we will start with defining the title for this activity so for that we will just use get support action bar and using this method we will set the title for our activity since we are having the action bar on the top then let's define the button that is the login button and let's find the view for the button and uh, as you remember the id that we have used with the button in the layout file is the button underscore login so we have to define the same here that is r dot id dot button underscore login so this way we can tell the android that the button login in the main activity class corresponds to the button underscore login in the layout file so basically both of them are like connected in a way we can say and uh, we have to import the button library also so just import it then let's set a on click listener on the login button so that whenever we click on the button these codes uh, will be executed so we will define one intent here new intent that is we want the login activity to be opened when we click on the login button so when we click on the login button we want the login activity to be opened and the source activity is the main activity so we will just write main activity dot this then comma the target activity that is the login activity dot class and then we will just start activity and in bracket intent and we will not finish this current activity that is the main activity that is we do not want to close the main activity here so that if the user navigates to the login activity and presses back button then he comes back to the main activity and then we can just copy this entire part and then paste it and then define it for the register button so we want the register activity to be opened when we click on the register button and both of them are showing error because as of now we have not defined the login activity or the register activity coming back to the layout of the main activity let's define one background color to this activity so in the scroll view we'll just define one background as color forward slash light gray and then we will define the light gray color in the color resource file the color resource file will be available inside the values folder you can see here here we'll just define a few colors let's say red then lime the 
in the dark green. And finally light grey. And now we have the light grey color. Sorry, I just missed to use the at symbol. So it should be at color forward slash light underscore gray. Then in the relative layout, that is the layout which is containing the icon and the text view. Here we will define the background color as white. This is just to make it look little better. So this completes the main activity. Now let's move to the register activity. 